the one news edge at 11, paintings depicting former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick are popping up across Atlanta. And it's all in response to some artwork demolished days before the Super Bowl. I spoke with the man behind that artwork who says he has already painted another. It was just like... Oh, snap, they're like destroying the building. Fabian Williams says this video shows crews demolishing an abandoned building Friday. The artist says he painted a Colin Kaepernick mural on it two years ago here on Joseph E. Lowry Boulevard. I, I can't even really get inside the head of the person that decided this was a good idea. After posting this video on social media, Williams says several artists joined him to paint Kaepernick tribute murals across the city. The former San Francisco 49ers quarterback caused a firestorm of controversy after after kneeling during the national anthem. It was in his protests against racial injustice and police brutality. The outpouring of support that I got yesterday from everybody, I'm talking about like gay, white, black, Asian, children, old people, you know, dogs, I, I, like, <laughs> like the community just came out in full force. To join in the fight or to join in the representation rather. So the community was upset. Craig Flux Singleton started painting this mural Sunday on Crog Street. Property owner Tim Barrett gave him the go, saying art is about self-expression. As an artist, I've you know, tried to help provide uh, outlets for the artists to show, exhibit their work and show their work. So through that, I've uh, you know continued on through for many years. William says some of the paintings are complete, others are in the works. Like this is about all of us and what type of country we want to live in and with the type of people that we want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like Atlanta is, I mean, America is still an idea. You know what I mean? And we're not going to achieve the dream until we actually get out and do the work.